Merry Christmas, everybody. So, I decided that I was going to do a little bit of a challenge and attempt to catch all three of the legendary fish in a single setting. Unfortunately, this is my second Henrik catch because my first video was black, so I actually ended up catching four in one setting. I ended up having to catch this on PC and then catch it again on Xbox with 13 pound line. That's the strongest I have. So what I thought was going to be the easiest fish ended up being probably the hardest. So it's a little bit more of a fight than I thought it would be. I didn't even know you could catch it on 13 pound. I don't think I ever did. I think the lightest I caught it on PC was 20. So, this was a little bit of a fight. Uh, Henrik kept pulling out to about 70 feet, 80 feet, and essentially trying to stay out there. There wasn't a whole lot I could do about it. So, yeah, we are currently just fighting what feels like a losing fight, trying not to break my 13 pound line in the process, which I don't I don't know, this might be my first legendary catch on Xbox, actually, so if it is, that's cool I don't remember catching another one on Xbox but, who knows I may have, forgot about it, but I think in 2024 I would like to attempt to focus on Xbox a little bit more get everything caught up there, and hopefully get it on par with my PC account, but as of right now, I can just kind of bounce back and forth. I'm up to level 32 on PC, so that's pretty cool. It, it, it kind of gives me the experience of leveling up like I would just be starting now, as opposed to having one of the best rods in the game because I bought it before they implemented the leveling system, so... Yeah, as you can see, I'm, I'm kind of having trouble here. He keeps pulling out to the, the back corner there, which he can't spool me, but I don't know if the rocks could break me off here or not. But yeah, it's not too bad of a fight. It's a lot better than I expected. And here we go. First one down. 13 pound line, which is kind of absurd. And with the store Henrik down, we moved on to El Matador. And this one kind of caught me off guard. I would set my controller down to check my phone, and that was kind of a mistake. That's the moment he hit. And I thought this was going to be really easy, because he was literally only a few feet away from me when I caught him. Or when I hooked him. But he got a little close and then just kind of took off, which I heard that he did, but a lot of people said he didn't fight much course I'm using 33 pound line at this point which I think everybody else was using significantly higher line so it was more of a fight than I thought and I was a little bit worried about it I know that he kept wanting to go out to about 200 feet and I don't know how much line I have I felt like I'd probably break off about 200 and something which I feel like I was pretty close here a few times. So yeah, this this fight was more than I expected, and it was another case like Big Larry where I don't think Stalin Hunter necessarily the best for the situation, but you know, it is what it is. I don't have anything better yet. I need to complete the reserves and try to upgrade my equipment a little bit but as of right now I'm fighting some of the biggest fish in the game and I'm using some of the weaker equipment so a lot of it's just level 30 ish equipment and my thought process was if I could catch these two legendaries I could potentially hit 
level 32 before I go for Sidewinder because I've heard Sidewinder is a lot worse and truthfully I don't know which one was worse this week kind of felt like uh, it might have been a little bit of a tie between El Matador and Sidewinder here but yeah another thing I want to talk about is I'm considering playing other games on this channel I don't know if I'm going to play games that are a lot different from Call of the Wild or if I'm just going to play Call of the Wild games in something that might be similar. I'm unsure yet. I, there's a few more months before we can really get out and fish, but yeah, that's still going to be my primary focus and I, I do still want to play Call of the Wild games on here, but Again, I don't want to pigeonhole myself too much into a single little hyper-focused niche because if I do, I I know that when the game dies or, you know, when interest in the game dies, it's going to leave me trying to figure out what to do next. And I don't want to do that. I would rather get to a point where I have other games in the catalog that I can play to pass the time and... Truthfully, I don't really think that Call of the Wild games are necessarily who I am. I'm, it, I like Call of the Wild games, don't get me wrong, but you can see here, El Matador is pretty big. <laughs> Trying to get him off the back is like crazy. Yeah, here's the second one down. And you can see I use cheese here, which was kind of hoping it would work because that's the setup I had for uh, something else that I was fishing for. Yeah. Big ol' mirror carp. And now we're on Golden Ridge Reserve for Sidewinder. So, yeah, like I said, I think that I would like to expand this kind of you know, put some feelers out there and see if there's interest in any other games that are similar to this, and like the pacing and all that. Because I, I don't want to pigeonhole myself too much into a hyper-focused niche where if this game dies or the interest dies, I can't really recover from it. I would rather have a slightly broader appeal that you know, I can still fish, I can still play the angler, I can still play like the hunter and all that. But I can play the other games that I play as well. I don't know how out there I want to go with it yet. But I think that I'm going to at least explore some, you know, some other content that can help me flesh things out. So I'm not just constantly playing the angler or constantly trying to fish for an hour or so to catch something. I don't want to be forcing myself to make content because I don't think that's how you make good content and I don't think that's who I am as a person. You know, I do more than fish. I do more than play fishing games. I, I want to have a little bit more appeal while I don't have a whole lot of subs. So I'm not, you know, like tricking you guys into subscribing and then watching something unrelated. I don't want to do that. But I would like to basically expand my horizons a little bit. So there's more content, there's better content, and you know, I'm not bored with what I'm doing. So yeah. anyway, um again catching sidewander on gear that I probably shouldn't and like I thought it was a never ending fight he he kept going out to 200 feet and there wasn't much I could do about it I fought him for quite a while here but this is the the last for my little three legendary slam and my excuse to put out a Christmas video and 
thank all of you for subscribing and I did hit my goal this year it wasn't quite as you know I have a little bit higher goal now but I did hit my goal my goal is 75 subs within the first few months which I hit I'm at 95 now which is great I hope to maybe find a way to get 100 before the new year's but if not we'll just stay the ground running in 2024 and hope for the best um yeah i, I really appreciate the support the comments the you know the discussions that we've had and i think 2024 is definitely going to be more interesting so if you do like the content i definitely appreciate if you would subscribe and you know, like the videos and comment what you'd like to see or you know maybe we can all have like a fishing day or something in a game whatever but yeah i'm looking forward to 2024 hope you guys had a good holiday and yeah merry christmas happy new years and all that fun stuff happy holidays whatever you celebrate and here's the final catch for the legendary slam this week so have a good one, you guys.